Hi, this is David Giles of Hitex Development Tools, and this is a short introduction to using user code within the TESI unit testing tool. This is part two of two. Okay, so we've now tested the first test object, which is RS232 print string, and we have a second test object called Hello World, uh, which we are looking to test as well. So if we have a look um, at the source code, if I do right click, edit source code and uh, you can see here um, at the bottom this is the source code that relates to that test object so it has no input parameters and no return parameters and there's only one line of code in there which is RS232 print string hello world which obviously passes a pointer to the constant string uh, hello world so let's have a look at what Tessie uh, has identified about this function if we come on into the interface uh, you can see that Tessie has correctly identified that there's no input parameters and there are also no return parameters either. Uh, but it has identified that there's two uh, functions which it needs to uh, interface to. One of which is called RS232 print string, uh, which it has indicated as a local function. This is because the function is actually contained in the same C uh, source code file. There's another function called RS232 print byte. Uh, which was declared as external so we actually don't have this now for the purposes uh, of the testing we can do one of two things we can actually use the real function rs232 print string in its entirety and bear in mind that we have just unit tested that so we know that function actually works or we can actually stub this function out as well um, and we can check that the parameter has been correctly passed to that so in this particular example what I'll do is I'll create a stub for this local function so I'll do create stub function for current test object and uh, for this one here external functions I need to tell Tessie to do something with that so I'll do uh, create a stub function for the current test object as well um, so we have uh, two uh, local stub functions only one of which I'm going to use so I'm actually going to create a stub for RS232 print string I'll come up into the uh, panel on the right hand side here and add my first test case if I highlight the test case and double click on it the test data editor will open and lo and behold we have no input parameters and no return parameters so it's not actually possible to put any input parameters or return parameters uh, within this environment so I'll close this down and I'll have to make use of the user code editor that's within Tessie to test this particular function so I'll click on the user code editor and the user code editor starts up so I have two stub functions now one's called RS232 print byte and as you can see the code uh, which we have for that stub has been uh, brought through from the previous example which we've created in uh, part one uh, however we don't actually need uh, to use that code um, because uh, we're going to create a stub for the function which sits above it which is called RS232 print string and as you can see here this is the function uh, prototype which has been identified by Tessie that we actually pass a parameter to it called my string and that is kind of what we need to uh, we need to check here we have a little bit of uh, user code uh, which substitutes uh, for the function RS232 print string as you can see I have a string array uh, called test array of 12 with hello world and uh, I also have uh, an index of variable which is zero and the plan is to compare the input string called my string which is passed to this function uh, with the test array string which I've set up within the user code which is called hello world and what this allows me to do is just to check that the hello world string which is passed to this function uh, is in fact a hello world string and not anything else so I've done that with the help of a test array and an indexer as you can see here for index equals naught indexer less than 12 indexer plus plus and as you can see I have an evaluation macro of a sign char which compares uh, the input string which is uh, my string of indexer and it compares that with the test array um, uh, indexer um, character as well and we cycle through all 12 elements um, of that so if I click on save and then close down the user code editor and then come up to here and click on the razor cat symbol will generate the driver I'll click on run and generate here an XML with the results in 
as you can see here we have uh, an icon which is partially red and partially green uh, which means that uh, the test case itself passed but the user code uh, failed if I click on the user code icon and bring up the user code editor we can see where we have uh, some problems and if I highlight the uh, print string so as you can see here uh, the majority of uh, the character comparisons passed um, but we did have two character comparison failures and this is because the test string which we passed to our function under test um, had a capital H for hello and it had a capital W for world so when we actually compared hello world against our test string which we have in the user code uh, it failed on uh, the two uppercase letters so it's very simple to correct we come back into the user, uh, user code editor and you can see here that we can change that to H and we can change that to W uh, click on save and then exit and we can rerun the test again the user code has, uh, has changed slightly so we have to do a recompilation and build and this time we will have a, a green icon to say the test case itself passed um, and a, a green uh, sub icon to indicate that uh, the user code has passed also and as you can see we now have a green uh, icon to indicate the test case has passed and a sub icon to indicate that the user code has passed as well the test case it will in this case will always show uh, green because if you look at the input parameters and the output parameters there are none so it's impossible for uh, the test to fail however and uh, the real test is actually being done in the user code which is the little um, sub icon and just to finish off we can have a look at the test output report in HTML format and if I click on uh, test case 1 so as you can see we have the actual values and the expected values within the user code matching and we have a green tick uh, for each of the 12 items listed so that completes that section on uh, the user code for those customers in UK and Ireland you can find additional information on Tessie the unit testing tool from Razorcat on the Hitex website www.hitex.co.uk or please contact myself David Giles on djiles at hitex.co.uk For other regions please contact my colleague Frank Buchner on frank.buchner at hitex.de